Okay, question number six from October 2019, the International A-Level P1 paper. Okay, so here it says the curve C has equation Y equals 4 over X plus K, where K is a positive constant, positive constant. Sketch a graph of C, the curve, stating the equation of the horizontal asymptote and the coordinates of the point of intersection with the x-axis. So we need to sketch the graph of this. Now when you sketch, of course, your you should draw the axes with a ruler to try and be as neat as possible. It doesn't mean sketch doesn't mean just do it roughly. It means you don't have to have you know all the points marked out over here. Now y equals 4 over x plus k. Now we know that y equals 1 over x will have this type of shape. Okay, something like this. That's something you should know. The reciprocal function. That's a basic reciprocal function. Y equals 1 over x. You have a, a horizontal asymptote, which is the y axis, the x axis, and you have the vertical asymptote, which is the, the x axis. Sorry, the y axis we're talking about. So the x axis is the horizontal asymptote, that's y equals 0. And the y-axis is the vertical asymptote, which is x equals 0. Okay, this curve will get closer and closer to these asymptotes without actually touching them. So this is how the graph of 1 over x looks like. Now, y equals 4 over x plus k. The 4 over x part means just it's just slightly further out. That's all. Okay, we can't really show that when we're doing the sketch um, of just this on its own. But the plus k means the horizontal asymptote all the y values basically are, 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 you have to add k to them, okay, whatever k is. It's a positive constant, so it's going to be going upwards, because k is positive, but it's going to be going upwards um, by k units. So the horizontal asymptote will also go up by 4 units. So let me just draw the asymptote like this. Let's say that's, that's the asymptote as if it was y equals uh, 4 over x. When you add k to it, the asymptote moves up k units. So y equals k is going to be the horizontal asymptote. So we stated the equation of the horizontal asymptote. And the curve is going to get closer and closer. Let me just uh, do something here to make it a bit more clearer. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, so it's going to get closer and closer to the asymptotes without actually touching them. Now, what I've done there is wrong. Uh, you have to be very careful. They're kind of, kind of strict about this. You have to make sure that it doesn't turn away from the asymptote. It doesn't touch the asymptote. It's a bit difficult with this pen thing here, but anyway, I'll try. It doesn't turn away from the asymptote. It gets closer to the asymptote without turning away from it. Something like that. Okay, so just try and be a bit of a perfectionist here. So it should be getting closer to the asymptote without touching it, curving like this, and not touching the asymptote. Don't make it curve away from the asymptotes. You'll definitely lose marks. And on this side, it would normally be down here, but everything moves up. So we can see that it's going to basically cross the x-axis somewhere over there. Look something like this. Let me tidy up this last part here. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. It's going to get closer and closer to the asymptote without actually touching it. Okay, so this is y equals 4 over x plus k. Now, they asked us to put the coordinates of the point of the way it intersects the x-axis, which is this point over here. We need to write down what this point is over there. Okay, in order to do that, we have to realize, as we should know, that whenever a curve or a line or anything cuts the, the x-axis, well, that's when y equals 0, because the x-axis is y equals 0. So when y equals 0, you have 4 over x plus k equals 0. So 4 over x equals minus k. If we cross multiply, we have um, 4 over minus k is equal to x. So x is equal to minus 4 over k. So this point here is minus 4 over k x is minus 4 over k. Okay, so that's the point at which it crosses the x-axis. Okay, so 
This is the x-intercept, the x-intercept, we could say. All right, so there we have the answer to part A. Okay, part B says the curve C, or well, we know about the curve C, says the line with the equation y equals 10 minus 2x is a tangent to C. Find the possible values for k. So 10 minus 2x, okay, would be um, a line which goes through 10 on the x, on the y-axis and has a gradient of minus 2. So depending on where k is, there could be basically two points where it's a tangent to it. Okay, one is going to be when it touches that part, the other one would be when it touches this part. So when k is, you know, when k is a bigger value, then it will probably touch this part. When it's a smaller value, it will probably touch that part. But we've got to find um, the possible values for k for which uh, y equals 10 minus 2x is a tangent to c. Now, there's two different methods you could use. Um, probably the easiest method is to know that if y equals 10 minus 2x is a tangent, tangent to c, therefore it will it will just touch at one place at one place if it's a tangent it will touch at one place okay uh, so if it touches if this touches that curve well how do we find where two curves intersect well or a line and a curve intersect we find it by solving these two equations simultaneously so if we say uh, let's make them equal to each other we can say when 10 minus 2x is equal to 4 over x plus k that's where they'll intersect so let's just uh, rearrange and um, simplify this equation a bit you'll have 10x minus 2x squared equals 4 plus kx so I've just multiplied both sides by x and I'll have basically let me just bring everything onto one side so it says uh, the x squared is positive so I have 2x squared and I'm going to have plus kx minus 10x. I'm just keeping the x terms together. Um, and I'll have plus 4. Okay, so I can rewrite this. So I have this on the left side. So I have 2x squared. And you can see here the x term, if you take out the x as common, the x term will be k minus 10. So I could say 2x squared plus k minus 10 times x plus 4 equals 0. Now, I know that this has, okay, one solution. Okay, there's one solution to this. Why? Because they've told us that 10 minus 2x is a tangent to the curve. So if it's a tangent to the curve, there'll be one place where it touches the curve. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, or when it touches the curve, it'll touch it at one place. It won't cut through the curve um, and it won't miss the curve. It'll touch it at one place. It's a tangent. So if there's one solution, then the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac has to equal 0. Okay, so I'll just continue here, although really I should go to the next page. So we know in this equation, a is 2, and b is k minus 10, and c is 4. So b squared, which is k minus 10, so k minus 10 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 4, has to equal 0. Okay, so we can solve this equation and find the values of k for which this will be true. So we have k. Now, in order to solve this, you could do it in, 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 in a way by expanding the bracket, but that will actually make life more difficult. Let me just show you what we're going to do here. Multiply 4 times 2 times 8 or times 4, which is 32. Okay, so k minus 10 squared minus 32 equals 0. And instead of expanding the bracket and then adding the minus 32 into the number and then factorizing, we see we have a square bracket. And that what makes life a lot easier when you have something like this is to isolate the square bracket. So I have k minus 10 all squared equals 32. Okay. And then I can take the square root of both sides. Now don't forget there's a positive or negative square root that you can get when you take the root of both sides. So you have minus 10 plus or minus the root of 32. So you have k is going to be 10 plus or minus. Now we're going to take out the perfect square from this to simplify it. And you know, you basically, you know that 16 times 2 is 32. So this is going to be 
4 times root 2. And if you're not sure, just to make sure, you can say the square root of 32 in your calculator and you write, oops, 32. And that gives you 4 root 2, just to be sure. So we can say that k is equal to 10 plus 4 root 2 or 10 minus 4 root 2. Those are the two solutions of k. Okay, so that, that's, you know, you can say k is equal to 10 plus 4 root 2 and k is equal to 10 minus 4 root 2. And there we have the solution to this question. Um, there's also another method you could use for this question, although I think this is probably the better method. And, and I'll just show you that method just in case, um, you know, just for information. Uh, basically, here we know that the line with equation y equals 10 minus 2x is a tangent to c. Now, when a line is a tangent to a curve, the curve and the line have the same gradient at that point. So that, that means, okay, where y equals 10 minus 2x intersects c, okay, then c has a gradient of minus 2. c has a gradient equal to minus 2 because the gradient of this line, if you think about y equals mx plus c, m is equal to minus 2. So the gradient of this line is minus 2. So where it intersects the curve, or where it touches the curve, I should say touches, not really intersects, okay, it doesn't really intersect it, it touches the curve. So where y equals 10 minus 1, 10 minus 2x touches the curve c, then c has a gradient of minus 2. They have the same gradient okay if it's a tangent to the curve so we can say we know that y is equal to 4 times x to the power of minus 1 plus k so dy dx is equal to minus 4 x to the power of minus 2 now k is a constant it will disappear when you differentiate it so we know that the gradient is equal to minus 4 over x squared so the gradient okay at the point where they touch Okay, the gradient, the point where they touch, where the tangent is, is going to be minus 4, um, is going to be equal to 2, all right? So the gradient where they touch, the tangent is going to be equal to minus 2. Okay, so we can say that this is the gradient, so we can say minus 4 over x squared has to equal minus 2 at that point. So we can say minus 4 over minus 2, which is 2, equals x squared. So x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Now that is the x value of where they intersect. We have to find the possible values for k. So the possible values for k we can find. First, we can use this equation here. So what we need to do is we need to find the y value of where they intersect first. And once we've found that, we can use this equation. Okay, so let's find the y value of where they intersect. Now we know that y is equal to 10 minus 2x. So y is equal to 10 minus 2 times um, plus or minus root 2, basically. So you're going to have y is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 root 2. Those are the, uh, th those are the y values so when, when, when they intersect. Okay, so what we can do now is we can say, so when, let's, let's, let's do it in this way, just to make it clearer. Okay, when x is equal to, when x is equal to uh, plus root 2, y is equal to 10 minus 2 root 2. And when x is equal to minus root 2, then y is equal to 10 uh, minus 2 times minus 2 root 2, which is 2 plus 2 root 2. Okay, so now we can find the values of k. Okay, we can say that y equals 4 over x plus k so y is equal to 4 over x plus k so i know now that when y is equal to 10 minus 2 root 2 x is equal to root 2 so i can substitute that value in here so i have 10 minus 2 root 2 plus 4 oops equals equals 4 over root 2 plus k so I'm gonna have uh, k is equal to 10 minus 2 root 2 minus 4 over root 2 okay which will give us the answer 
if we do t two minus two root two, so we have minus two root two. I personally prefer the other method to be honest, but I just wanted to show you minus four divided by root two. You get minus four root two, so ten. That's going to be ten minus four root two. Oops, ten minus four root two. And when x equals okay, when x equals minus root two, y is equal to ten plus two root two. So we're going to put that into the equation. So you have y, which is ten plus. 2 root 2 equals 4 over x, which is minus root 2 plus k. So again, we're going to have uh, k is equal to 10 plus 2 root 2. And you're going to have plus 4 over root 2. Because there's a negative, it's going to go that side, be positive. So we'll end up with the same thing, basically, but positive. So k equals 10 plus 4 root 2. If, I'm, if I add these together, I get 4 root 2. So there we have the same answers as we got before. A bit more long-winded, but uh, I personally prefer this much better. But there's also another way of doing it using the fact that the gradient of the curve okay, um, is going to be minus 2, the same as the tangent. So there's two ways of doing that question.